So today we are going to learn uh, beta angle problem related to pentagonal lamina. Okay. So in this problem you see it uh, pentagonal lamina of dimension 25. So placed on one of its corners in HP. So we know that in a pentagonal problem also first two positions will be remain same. So that's what on the two positions. You can see that pentagonal lamina of dimension. So resting on HP with one of its corners. On the left hand side I have drawn the first position. And then inclination to HP it is given 30 degree. So that I have drawn. Now we have to proceed with the beta angle because they have mentioned a word called perpendicular bisector. Okay. So for that first I will be drawing an angle line. Okay. So angle line I am So 45 degree. So now we have to draw the perpendicular bisector, say from this corner point to exactly the middle point. Okay, this is M1. So first I will be taking a reference point of A. So this is focus of M. So this is the angle that is nothing but beta angle. So we have to find out this. So angle here we get it, it is around 55 degree. Okay. So now we have uh, initially. So these two lengths will be same. Now we have to cut the reverse here, A to B. Okay. So this is B and this is E. Okay, now we will be extending this to get the final beam. Okay, now this is a dash. So b dash we get this is c dash will get this and d dash we are going to get here and e dash 
will be getting uh, here okay now we have to join these points okay This is how we complete the beta angle in pentagon. Welcome to engineering visualization channel. Today we are going to do beta angle problem in pentagonal lamina. First you have to construct an XY line. Then after that uh, go to polygon by center. Select number of sides 5. And place it with respect to edge. Go to smart dimension. Select the edge and type the 25 mm. So like this you can able to construct. So after this you can give the namings here. Now draw the projection line support to complete the front view. So for the front view uh, maintain the thickness of 0 0.50 mm. Write the namings for the front view using text command. Now select the front view and go to move command, create a copy of it and and before uh, moving it, split it. Okay. Using split command you can split that front view so that it will be easy to draw the projection line. Now select it, go to move command, drag it on the XY line. Now select the one end and select the other end using rotate command. Give the angle, how much angle you want to give with respect to inclination to HP. Okay, now draw the projection line downward to complete the second position top view. So draw the projection line downward. So horizontally also you have to draw the projection lines. So in my particular channel uh, you can see the videos related to all the full modules that is points, lines, planes solids everything it is there both sketching and uh, and in system also have did using solid aid software okay for the solid aid software 2024 student version it is available in my youtube channel you can download because most of the systems nowadays are running with windows 10 and 11 so windows st4 uh, uh, it is better suited for that Now draw the perpendicular bisectors. Two perpendicular bisectors you have to draw like this. Measure with smart dimension. Now draw the angle line. So give the angle in minus, minus 45 degree. Now find out the beta angle. So go to arc by center. So first take the distance of 38.47. Cut the arc. So draw the locus line. So take the intersection point like this. Go to arc by center. So cut the second arc. Length 33.32. Okay, now go to second position so using move command create a copy select the end point a and place it on the reference end point and then using the rotate command make this perpendicular bisector sitting on the second curved point okay now extend this line using extend to next command okay now find out the angle this is 45 
then second angle what you get that will be 55 so the exact beta angle we got it now draw the projection lines upward to complete the final position if you find this video useful you can subscribe to this particular channel and share it to your friends and classmates so that they can be benefited from this so both sketching and in software it has been done in this particular uh, youtube channel and vtu related updates either it can be examination results everything it is provided in this particular channel so follow this particular channel and share to your friends and classmates thank you all thank you for watching the video